Hello YouTube and welcome to another uh, Vacuum Man 8 video and today on the video we have something from Pneumatic um, not directly from Pneumatic <laughs> but something else Pneumatic today well it's just a bit of a purge on stuff I've seen one of these on eBay I think it was under the radar because it was fairly cheap it's supposed to be new and other so as long as it works and it's actually in good condition, we don't care. Um, it is for, for a very selective vacuum. If it wasn't actually a black colored one, um, I suppose you'd be paying like three figures for the thing. Um, yeah, if it's a uh, gray one, it would be for a pneumatic... Nuvac. Nuvac turbo. Yeah. So in here, we have a, we have a turbo electric head. Um, so the plan is, whichever one's the best one, we, so let's have a look at this one then. Now it's supposed to be new and unused, but we'll have a it's quick look. Dust in there. Yeah. I don't think it's had a lot of use, is it? There's a few little nicks and scratches it's on it. New, Seems in very, yeah, it looks, looks in very good condition indeed, actually. Um, these nice. only really fit the Henry Terrible and the Henry Hound. And um, I think these are like, I think, well, the cheapest I've seen them for £80 now. So I think you can pay 140 plus for one of these. Um, so as you know, Cole's got a brand new set of poles for the thing. Um, and we just thought that, you know, the head is original. So what we'll do, um, we won't do it day on three, but on the second part of the video, yeah. we'll see if this thing works. Um, so we've got a couple of nicks there, but it's not had a lot of use. It does say it was new and other, but it is absolutely in cracking condition. And if it's better than the one that you've got, huh. then what we're going to do is we're actually going to um, rebuild. We're actually going to take take two of them apart and make one good one out of it, aren't we? And then keep ah. whichever the best hand is. Make a sausage Yeah. Cars so there's a few little is. marks on it. Not too bad. Kind of yeah. So yeah, so hopefully we'll test this one on the second part of the video and we'll see if this one works. We've managed to get the Henry Turbo 2002 out. Um, so this one here, yeah, we just basically had the shell, um, new motor, um, I had a source of poles and a head and uh, these poles are brand new, by the way, or well, they were new. We got them brand new. Um, um, those poles are also prone for like the contacts go funny on them because when we've tried these older ones that were stored like not in the house anymore, um, they do play up a bit. So what we'll do now, right? So can you tell it? Can you tell which is the new one? Well, I'm going to tell you this now. That's the new one. All the newer ones sparkling. Mm, I don't know that. Thank you. And um, this one here is the original one that he bought. Uh, I think this, the electric sign is slightly more darker on that one, if you can see here. And then we've got the Henry Hound one as well. This might be an older Hound. Uh, these are actually stored out out of light, so they are actually stored in one of these proper bags. Right there. So we're just going to try the one that it come with. I think all the one. Are the tiny poles. Yeah. Because it don't want to stand up hard. The problem is now it's getting all the poles now. They're quite hard, and the companies have got them. If you if you try and order them now, um, and I've had it before, I think I ordered it from some company. I think I ordered like fifty quid worth of pneumatic parts, and I think it was free shipping, and I think like most of the parts was obsolete. And then what? And they wouldn't even send me, even though I ordered fifty quid's worth, because like forty quid of it I couldn't have anyway. They said you can have this this one part, but we'll have to charge you like eight pound for shipping. And I said no, go away, basically, you know. So these parts are pretty hard to get hold of now, Brian. Now anyway, um, they're, they're all, you know, you have to go to the proper cleaning companies, but I think they get it directly from pneumatic. I was going to say something. So maybe get a uh, pneumatic, a pneumatic Nuvac turbo. Mm, right. I mean, 
pneumatic turbo. So let's try this one first. They wouldn't big metal ones. The original pole, the original head. <laughs> That was a huge motor, by the way, we put in that one. Get that. That's not locking in, but a shed. Lock in, I was okay. Right. We have the Henry Hounds one. Unlock that. Right. these is, is the way the, the hoses are very long this is like the original setup I think personally the short pole is probably the better option you know the problem is with the short pole you've got one with a dent in it and yeah so um let's see what let's see if the new one works now Sometimes well, I need mate. Maybe the connections on properly. Yeah, well, they're new poles, mate. Well, maybe the connections on the heads knackered. Right, let's have a quick look at that. We'll put some spray on there quickly and see if we can get it. Now. We've um, I've cleaned the contacts best I can. I've just used some of this contact cleaner. Look, always on the other. I think I want to try and get for one of these. I want to try and get the commercial power head. So what we have done, we have put this these back on to make sure it hasn't blown anything well, inside the machine. One. So. Uh, but if not, I'll probably be mess messaging the, the seller and sending it back to him. Pay for that sim properly. Didn't pay loads for it, Same. but it's not the point. Now, let's fire it up and see if anything happens. Go on, innit? Go on, innit? So they've actually sold us a dead, by the sounds of it. We'll try it on that end also. Yeah. Try it yeah, but can't, it's not the poles, mate, because these are these are new poles, aren't they? Let me show you. Let's get the poles. This is this is wetting off that vacuum now. It might be the contacts are bent on it. It's wetting off that vacuum. That's one now. Well, so so a bit of luck. I'll get me money back off them. Um, And I'll have to see what happens, and if not, we'll have to just I'll just keep parts off it. You know, I think this one here. Can I point this out? Um, it rattles. No, it, it's knocking now. But it locks in. This one's a lot looser. Look. So there's something wrong with this here somewhere. I mean, we might better fix it. But it does rattle that one. You know, I mean, this one does rattle. It rattles more than the Henry Hound one. Yes. You want to hear how? So then we've got a nice new top for it, look. So we got, so if we yeah. don't get anything back, we can just swap the tops yeah. around on it. So see how shrewd be this one, Mark? And we'd have a spare brush bar out of it. See how shrewd be this one, Mark? <laughs> and now the old one. It definitely rattles more, that one, doesn't it? Yeah, that's because of the, the way the brush bar moves up the thing. Yeah. It floats. I mean, I don't know what see, see, when you look at both of these, try and move. Yeah. One, one move more than the other. Yeah. So it's a shame, really, that this one here doesn't work. Um, look, so I'm going to message the seller, see what they say. I think it's that one. Because, you know, at the end of the day, it didn't say it was working. It didn't say it wasn't working. So uh, we'll just have to have a battle and see what happens. But yeah, so hopefully I'll get my money back on it. And if not, we'll just keep it at spares. But I would have had, nice to have had another working one. The idea was this one here was quite worn out. And this one's supposed to be new. Other. 
and I'll and I'll just have to say to him, well, if it's new, then why is it not working? You know, if you don't put the right description down. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Vacuum Man Eight. Um, we'll give you an update and see what's going on with this one, um, and we'll see um, what's going on. Bye for now. Bye. What'd you say, mate? Bye. Bye.